Hey everyone, my name is Eric. I'm from the Farber Consulting Group. Uh, we provide database design, remote DBA, and custom software development services. Today we will be talking about reverse database engineering and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. Reverse database engineering is a very powerful feature found in data modeling tools. Uh, we have been using it for 18 years with Xcase, which also handles an assortment of databases uh, such as MSSQL, uh, MySQL, Oracle, and much more. In many cases, we have an existing database but don't have the original ER diagram or physical model. Reverse database engineering allows us to reconstruct the physical and or ER model from an existing schema. Now, reverse database engineering can be used to provide documentation on an existing application or provide the developer with a better overall picture of the schema. And so this really saves significant time by bringing the entire schema right under your fingertips. Reverse database engineering is extremely useful for tracking down the foreign key relationships, primary keys, indexes, stored procedures, triggers, and views. Alright, so now let's actually uh, take a look. We already have Xcase opened here, and uh, we already created a new data model. So let's click the reverse engineer icon and select the ODBC source from the SLM database for MSSQL. Now click the OK button and let's start with the first tab named Entities. In this example we will just click the Select All button and click the OK at the bottom. Now we're just going to wait a bit, let this load a bit. And we're almost there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move all available entities and okay it. Now let's change, you know, the type of entity to name only so that we can save some space. And we'll, we'll show you what we mean. All right, now let's expand the entities and search for the loan entity. Let's increase the size and uh, change its color to red. Now, this way you can see all the relationships that are coming from the loan entity with respect to all its children. Now, by double clicking on the entity, you can see all the fields, uh, indexes, uh, incoming relations, outgoing relations, and much more. Now let's reverse engineer the views and stored procedures. And by the way, when we got all, all entities, the triggers were already included. Uh, so let's start with the views. Now double click on one view and that'll show you the SQL statement as you can see. Alright, now let's bring some stored procedures. We'll, uh, check a few. Okay, and uh, you double click on the first one. That'll bring you right to the code. Now we can see it and modify it too if needed. And for every change we do, uh, we can update the database later on directly without leaving this tool. And that, that wraps up this video. Uh, we really want to thank you for, for uh, watching with us. And uh, for any other videos you, you may want to check out, just go to dfarber.com. Uh, we specialize in database design, remote DBA, and custom software development services. Thanks again, and we hope to see you in the future. Bye-bye.